So let's talk about something else. Let's talk about. Let's talk about procrastination. How to stop procrastinating. Now, this is truly, truly difficult for a lot of people. It was for me as well. But it gets easier and easier once you disconnect from things, once you start discriminating a little bit. You can't be everywhere and you shouldn't listen to everything all the time. You should discriminate whatever you read, blogs, books, anything intellectual, anything entertaining, actually entertainment. If you want to be highly successful, you need to cut out basically all your entertainment and just work, focus on work. This helicopter is after me, by the way. Now, I'm telling you. Now, how to stop? Well, you simply need to act. You simply have to act right now. And you, you know what you have to do. Like everything else, you instinctively know what, whatever you have to do. And by the way, listen to the previous video because there I speak of why the diet starts to, once you go to the ancestral diet, you start listening to your instincts again. So go head back to that, just listen to that. But here we'll speak of procrastination and how to stop it and how to, you don't even have to do it gradually, but perhaps you should in the beginning. Like at least delete your Instagram or Twitter. Twitter is one of the most poisonous, most awful, terrible things for your soul and spirit and mind and everything and logos and whatever you want to call it. It's terrible. So emotions, whatever, feelings, emotions, it's the worst. It makes you way worse, way worse. You need to remove all your social media now because that's the main problem when it comes to procrastination today because people are just wasting so much time on Twitter. Not, none of it matters. Not, nothing on Twitter matters. Nothing on Twitter matters. Nothing on Instagram matters either. Nothing. Not a single thing. And there is nothing you can do to stop these problems or whatever like obviously you can help people but I mean you can't stop the world's problems that way become a billionaire perhaps then you can speak perhaps then you can solve some problems world problems but unless you're a billionaire I don't want to hear about how to fix the world's problems like or unless you're a high-end politician as well you know that has some influence on these things or become something like larger than life then we can speak all right let's head here i want to keep being around here because i don't know it's a bit boring but it's a bit concrete too gray for me i like some colors you know i'm wearing red after all now obviously i wear black as well now, you gotta cut, out, cut it all out. You, you just, you simply have to just go there and deactivate your account and start living your life instead, you know? Work on yourself instead. Work on, your, on yourself instead. Instead of just bullshitting around uh, with these arguments and nonsense stuff. I know, I, I, know, I know what this means because I've been there, you know? I wasted so much time on Twitter and and whatever that was and um, some people are excited maybe they're excited that I'm coming now you know you gotta focus on yourself instead you know all these nonsense discussions leading nowhere you you actually know where they're leading you know you, you know the answer is like they're so obvious you're discussing obvious things you're discussing obvious things you're not tackling anything and you're not creating anything new because we've heard it all 
start to creating something new instead. You know? Perhaps you could tell that to me as well. Like, why the hell are you vlogging or why the hell are you YouTube? Do something new. Well, I am doing something new. In my world, this is new. I've never done this before. This is challenging for me. I love to challenge myself. That's what I love to do. And when I, I've mastered it, when I feel done, perhaps I can invent something new on this platform, but we'll see. It would be great, but what do I have to do? Like swim or something? Climb the Sagrada Familia maybe. Now, you know, so procrastination, how to stop? Well, you simply act upon it, like you have to focus on your higher desire, like the, the previous videos, you have to focus on your higher desire, because uh, otherwise you're just gonna start procrastinating, you just, it's so easy to just pick up the phone and go to, twi uh, go to Twitter or YouTube or um, Facebook or or Instagram or Snapchat or whatever you want to use or like to use or love to use or are, are more importantly addicted to so stop being addicted to this sh this sh shite set actually don't want to swear too much it's so it's so you know it's so low low it's so low. Gotta stop with that as well. You know? But no one is perfect. You gotta work on yourself to become perfect. Well, perfect doesn't doesn't exist. Perfect is also perfect is all, perfection is uh, over quite overrated. But at least have an ideal, a goal, a purpose. Not an ideal. You shouldn't be idealistic. Be realistic. Truly realistic. Not just pessimistic or nihilistic or too optimistic. Be neutral to reality, but accept reality. You know? So, I can see myself here. But doesn't matter. It's about here. <laughs> All right, so you stop, you immediately stop, you cut out, cut out, at least cut out the worst one, the one you know you're most addicted to or the most poisonous for you that would be probably Twitter and leave politics just leave politics it's just you know a waste of time unless you want to become a politician otherwise it's a waste of time for you. you get hung up and you get frustrated and angry for nothing or at least create a community or a movement or something change something otherwise leave it Right? or invent some new political philosophy otherwise leave it if that's in your interest but... now because you got to remember all those people poisoning you they are that's in their best interest you know to have you there locked and it works for them you know that's their job all these YouTube politicians and so forth I've been there I have argued with everything and everyone and I've been banned on there and I've been <laughs> all sorts of things maybe perhaps one day I will expose who I was on Twitter but well I, I had some following but not the biggest following you know but today it would be certainly over a thousand people but much more maybe perhaps four thousand or perhaps m much more but i realized how bad it was for me because i didn't finish whatever whatever i wanted to finish you know my book my my work my you know stuff and work on myself i didn't work on myself I knew I had to cut it and, th and Twitter was the worst one for me so I cut the worst one and then Instagram was 
super easy because I was I always felt that account was worthless and just you know Instagram has no value you know it's just the worst like it's not the worst but it's uh, in some sense perhaps it is one of the worst oh my god there's a naked guy there old man totally naked beautiful view beautiful view now that's the spirit now that's the spirit <laughs> all right so so what were we talking about the old man with his with his dick out distracted me. all right so uh, gotta stop procrastinating and start working and even if you don't know what you're supposed to work with just work with yourself because no one else is going to care for you love yourself first and then you can start loving everything else but everything starts with the self and then you move outwards you know so I'm gonna delve deeper into that perhaps soon explaining my whole philosophy core philosophy like focusing on the core and stuff your essence your core whatever you want to call it I think of the core that's why I like minimalism because I get to the core it's a pretty easy way to get to the core and while you stop procrastinating you get to the core because you remove stuff that's not you you start discriminating you start removing things you start distancing yourself from things that you are not and that's going to make you clearer that's going to make everything much clearer it's going to you know you're gonna notice it immediately I, I promise you you're gonna notice it immediately and so to repeat uh, another thing the exercise for those who like to be intellectual to repeat do this for at least one month you can do it for a week but let's say you love intellectualism and you love philosophy and stuff I'm speaking from experience but whatever it could be something else like music or depressing music or something or you know just cut it out for a month cut out nonsense uh, blogs vlogs Twitter and YouTube videos on philosophy let's speak of philosophy like X philosophy is X you know cut out X videos and you'll notice and then after a month cut out all, all of that and every week let's say let's say you read one book a week so you read four books a month you can read like thin uh, thin uh, like essays or like but from the source so let's say you read Arthur Schopenhauer or Friedrich Nietzsche or something like that whatever it can be David Hume you read and if you don't like thick books and you, if you want to read like or if you don't have time you know like read essays or something but it's go I promise you it's going to be much deeper you're going to understand yourself because you're going to analyze it yourself without all this help and you're going to get into conclusions because based on your own experience in life and uh, everything else you've read in life you know all experience because reading is also an experience so everything accumulated so uh, in life thus far that's why you should reread every once in a while because the same book because uh, you've changed there's nothing wrong with that I mean if you don't change then that's wrong because that's just people who are stuck you know they're so, so, so just stuck in life so uh, I almost got an aneurysm there all right so or a stroke or something maybe I'm too excited well so for one week you start reading four more in-depth books from the source you read the source not obviously if you don't speak German or whatever but uh, 
you read from the philosopher itself. So even if it's something else, like you don't read about novel novelists, read the novelist's work or autobiography or something. Read uh, instead of reading about an actor, read his autobiography or the closest you can get to the source, the true source, and whatever they felt, and, you know, instead of getting from second-hand sources, don't use second-hand sources, or at least as less as you can, like, limit them, but here, in this exercise, always go with the primary source, just choose something you instinctively want, you see, again, instincts, you gotta you gotta work on yourself to get these instincts, like you know what you wanna read next and and after that and so forth. You need to work on yourselves to get to your instincts so that you can get your instinctual direction in life. Otherwise it's just gonna be feel random, everything is gonna feel random. Everything is just a mess, chaos. You need order not just chaos. Actually, sometimes you need chaos, but you gotta know when you need chaos and when you need order. All right? I have six days of order and one day on Saturdays of chaos. That's my day off. All right? So that's how it is. Now, so you read in this exercise, you read these four books or whatever you can whatever you can make like maybe one book well maybe perhaps it's only one book but better one book than let's fix this here first I can't see anything but my face is at least gonna be there uh, at least read one book and read it from the source and it can be a small novel and then after a month you head back but not with the intent of staying there but you head back to your favorite YouTube YouTube intellectual guy or girl or whatever or alien all right when you go back you'll notice and like to walk fast all right so you'll notice that their philosophy is so surface level everything is so surface level doesn't matter what it is it's gotta be so surface level it's like you understand Dostoevsky or you understand uh, Emily Bronte you understand Joseph Conrad much better than this freaking five minute review all right it's gonna be much deeper it's gonna move into your soul because that's what art does art moves into your soul i'll do some art videos if people want to hear them but if people want to hear them i'll do something on art and meaning but art is important. Art is super important. I'm actually feeling, uh, you know, almost spiritual here when I speak of it. It is truly spiritual. Art is spiritual. That's why we need it. But it has to be true. Now, you'll head back to that old... Do not head back to the old procrastination. But just check YouTube, just check these uh, blogs or Twitter or whatever, or actually don't check Twitter ever, uh, but go head back to those intellectuals you like and then notice how, how petty, how small it is, like perhaps not his own philosophy, you know, but it's, uh, well, maybe even that, but um, just realize how how small it is, how much better the primary sources, how much better 
how much more you'll understand and how much more you'll be able to discuss with people instead of just surface level discussions that lead nowhere from one subject to another instead of delving deeper into a subject people can more, uh, increasingly more and more and increasingly it's like they just talk to talk instead of having a purpose when they speak don't just talk just to don't just talk just to speak have a purpose behind it you know okay I've got to stop saying you know as well I'm noticing my own faults which is good I think you gotta work on yourself all the time so so uh, so yeah you head back you listen to it and then you'll realize how terrible how small it is how puny how how li little they have to say you know like all right, I said it you know again <laughs> all right so you'll notice how they have nothing to say these people have nothing to say all these uh, public intellectuals all these even thought leaders everyone is wrong Steve Jobs was right when he said all these people have their own now I'm paraphrasing but Steve Jobs said something like all these people out there they have their idea of what life is what what the definition is what it means what what to do and so forth but the greats they always break these mainstream patterns and he realized this, I think, and, and not only that, but he he followed his instinct instead of following what everyone said. Everyone said uh, learning calligraphic, calligraphy, learning calligraphy would be useless, and instead it was super important. And aesthetics was super important for for him. Art was important for him, basically. So not any art. Whatever he loved, he loved minimalism. Now I understand that because I love minimalism as well. Now, you know, so. Gotta cut everything up. And this dog here inspired me of one thing. Like, I see people speaking of procrastination and stuff, like adding things to your life stop adding all these dogs and cats and stuff to your life if you're alone just go out and speak to someone speak to a human being instead now okay so you went back and you saw how puny it was and you never want to return again that's the conclusion you'll want and you'll certainly get there so you'll realize and you'll simply stop you'll stop and start reading things you love and what you need and whatever you need for your work or something or research or but you're gonna get the primary sources books and so forth and the best books search for the best book not the don't search for uh, you know don't search for any book on the matter on the subject search for the best book about this or that obviously there is no best book but still search for it like the best what people consider the best then you uh, delve into those and but you gotta select and you gotta see who the author is or so it's legit and worth your time all right, so rather read a book than procrastinate on YouTube and Twitter and social media in general. Just doing that is much better, you know, to just read a book. At least it will delve deeper into your psyche and help you in some sense. It will help you grow in some sense. Twitter will never help you grow. It will just poison your mind. Trust me, 
I've been there. And many people have as well. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. But when you feel done, just cut it out. When you feel like you've, okay, I've exhausted this platform. I know what I have to do. I have to cut it out and I'm, I'll never come back. And I'll work on myself instead. I will grow something new. I will build something instead, create something. I will use my brain instead. And that's it. That is it you'll feel much more fulfilled, much more satisfied in life. And you just have to act on it. You can't, oh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. You can't just keep, keep extending it, delaying it. Do not delay your destiny. Just cut it and create your new self and work on yourself. Don't be afraid of change. All these people are afraid of change. Don't be afraid of change. Do something you've never done before. So stop procrastinating, head out, and do something that you've never done before. Whatever inspires you when you're outside, do that and see what happens. Like run naked or something. See if people will see you. do some calisthenics or something uh, on a tree where everyone watches you do that that's good unless that's nothing for you you got to do something more extreme or maybe not extreme I mean you should be careful but you should do something that's unusual for you. challenge yourself and do that and when you're mastered that move the next thing movement change movement as her client has said that is who we are we're our movement now i'm back like in the previous videos yes all right so greetings from barcelona and if you have troubles with it you can shoot me an email email is down below We'll set something up if we're a match and we'll clear up your life. We'll make it suitable for you so it works for you. But you gotta be willing to change as well and truly act upon all these higher desires of yours. Otherwise, you'll be stuck and all this procrastination, nothing will get done, nothing will get built, and you'll be unsatisfied with your life. Don't be stuck forever, because that would be a tragedy, truly. All right, see you tomorrow.